Eagle 7 here and in this video I want to talk about our shallow approach to a run on landing as part of an emergency procedure. I'm flying on a multiplayer server and you can see I get fixated on these vehicles in the open get a little bit too close and I draw a lot of ground fire and the ground fire ends up taking out one of my engines which as you can imagine is going to severely degrade our aircraft performance. And as we talked in our last video about high, hot, and heavy, we know that the heavier the aircraft is, the more engine power, the more torque it has to produce. So now we're on one engine, so our performance is not good. One thing we can do to try and increase our performance in single engine is to reduce some of that weight by jettisoning our stores and that can lighten the aircraft increasing our performance. Now, it's a fairly simple procedure and we'll go over that in just a moment. Let me insert a video. There we go. Now we're in the pilot seat of the A64D and as you see over here on the left hand side we have the uh, stores jettison panel just aft of the throttles we have four push buttons for each one of the pylons and our jettison button. We have our left wingtip and right wingtip jettison buttons but we're not going to talk about that today. Let's take a look at our key binds. The first key bind you're going to want to set under the AH-64D pilot section is going to be your left outboard station select push button, arm and safe, the right outboard station select, push button, arm and safe, left inboard station select, push button, arm and safe, and our right inboard station select, push button, arm and safe. And lastly, our jettison button. Now I have these all mapped to my wing-wing combat panel and it makes it really easy and very quick to jettison the weapons off of the pylon. So let's go ahead and get started. Come down to our jettison panel. Depress all four buttons. You'll see they're backlit, letting you know they're armed. And we'll come down to our jettison button and all we have to do is depress and you'll see the weapons fall away from the aircraft. So now that we've jettisoned what weapons we had on our aircraft, we have increased the single engine performance of this aircraft, hopefully allowing us to get back to the FARP. So we want to maintain as much power as necessary to maintain level flight we don't want to pull in too much collective and have our rotor get too low. If the rotor gets too low, we won't be able to recover from it. Let's go ahead and speed this up. And as we make our approach into the FARP, we're going to land on the old World War II runway. We want to make a shallow approach down to about 300 feet. We want to arrive right at our base to final or right on our short final at about 300 feet and anywhere from 50 to 60 knots. Keeping our forward airspeed keeps us above effective translational lift and if you remember it makes the rotor disc more e efficient and it requires less power and that's what we want. We want to use as little bit of power as you know just what we need. And here we come in on short final keeping our airspeed up, lowering the collective and as we get close to the ground we're going to want to level the aircraft touch down on the wheels and slowly lower the collective all the way down and up until it comes to a complete stop. I hope that helped and we'll see you on the next one.